Hey, today we are doing a fake versus real figure comparison of Rapunzel Miku by Taito. So this is the real Hudson Miku Rapunzel figure box. It has photos and art reference printed on the front, sides, and at the back. Character and product name are present as well as the product line which is Wonderland. The fake on the other hand came in this date. It's just bubble wrap. There is no box aside from the external shipping box. The figure is packaged in this clear plastic. Nothing else to secure it aside from that. It's easy to spot the fake by comparing the base alone. The real one has the Wonderland product line printed on its base while the fake Rapunzel Miku base does not. Now this is the real Rapunzel Miku figure. Straight out from the box, all parts are already attached. Aside from the base, everything is glued together ready for display. The fake on the other hand has detachable parts. We see here that she's missing her head pieces. Her twin tails need to be connected to the head manually and the same goes for her hair accessories. Next is product quality. Let's compare one side of her braided twin tails first. Obvious observation, the real one left side has smooth finish. No bumps or paint transfers and the color is darker in comparison to the fake. On a closer look, the fake has overall rough hair surface. The front side even has this ugly excess mold sticking out. Obviously, there is no quality check for this product. The outcome is just messy. There are bubbles and cracks and the flaws of the hair alone are plain to see. Side by side, the real one at the bottom has a more transparent hair strands output compared to the fake one above which looks a bit blue rather than white or clear. Here we have the real Rapunzel Mika figure. Honestly, not the best sculpt. But hey, it is clean. The surface is smooth matte and we don't see anything abnormal poking out from any part of her dress. Compared to the fake, it's way worse. I don't think the obvious flaws on the dress are supposed to be extra features as folds or creases. The white cloth looks more separated and floating from the purple cloth and just like the hair, it also has a rough surface and the finish looks a bit glossy. The real one left side has smoother dress creases and it looks flat compared to the fake right side with more noticeable indentation fluffier dress effect, and darker shades of color. The fake Miku is ready to hee hee the heck out of this, but let's compare the legs next. Nice looking legs, both figures from this angle, but wait, the fake has unfinished painted socks. There are obvious excess molds that were not corrected. It looks like her veins are about to pop out, and the supposed the skin looks too shiny. Meanwhile, the real Rapunzel Miku has good end results. As you can see, the finish is smooth, and it doesn't have too much sheen. The sculpt is good and they tried to make it look as close to real legs as possible. The face is adorable. <laughs> Aside from the weird poking hair strands, gazing at this part of the figure, it looks good. The fake on the other hand painted the face with darker shades. The eyes pop up more compared to the real Rapunzel Miku due to the saturation and the blush are more noticeable. I got the real Rapunzel Miku figure for the price of $13, excluding shipping fee. Honestly, it's pretty cheap already. That's why I always tell you guys to save and choose authentic figures. Meanwhile, I bought the fake Rapunzel Miku figure for $10. Not that much of a price gap, so I honestly recommend you prefer the original Rapunzel Miku. Side by side, the size comparison is pretty obvious. Even if the fake figure wasn't leaning to a side, the authentic Rapunzel Miku figure looks taller and a bit plump than the bootleg. Although I am impressed that the fake Rapunzel Miku figure looks okay. Usually bootlegs either have the mouth with leaked paints from the inside or they have crossed eyes. So I guess that means they are slowly improving and we as buyers should always be cautious in buying figures. That was pretty much everything. I hope that this video would help someone out there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here with me and have a great day, my friend. Bye!